This is BBC One in the Midlands. Now the six o'clock news, followed in half an hour by Midlands Today with Nick Owen. At six o'clock, immigration and asylum. Tony Blair accuses the Tories of exploiting people's fears. I never want this issue to be one that divides our country, that sets communities against each other. He announces 600 more officers to send back failed applicants, but the Tories call Labour complacent. And the other main stories. The stabbing of Abigail Witchells, a man and a woman, are arrested by Surrey police. Is it safe for airline pilots to work part-time? A BA employee wins her sex discrimination case. Why a little infection can be a good thing. Babies who mix with other children have better immunity against some childhood cancers. And the six o'clock election bus has travelled to Edinburgh tonight, home of Scotland's Parliament. We have a special report on whether devolution has changed the way voters here view the general election. Here in the Midlands, named at last the eight teenagers who terrorised a city housing estate. And the latest twist for Longbridge, Iran confirms an interest in buying MG Rover. More at half past six. Good evening. Welcome to the six o'clock news. Tony Blair has accused the Conservatives of playing politics with asylum and immigration out of desperation. Speaking in Dover, the Prime Minister said the government had been listening to the public and had tightened Britain's borders. Meanwhile, Michael Howard said that there should be a clear limit to immigration and people seeking asylum. Mark Mardell reports.